Baker Doppler Radar, sponsored by Homeland Bank. And now, exclusive Storm Tracker Doppler weather with meteorologist Chase Ward. Cloud cover has slowly exited down to the southeast, and we're seeing just a few leftover clouds in parts of Arkham this morning. But we'll continue with lots of sunshine. Make sure you got the sunglasses as you're heading out the door uh, right now. And temperatures aren't too bad. We got a couple spots in the upper 40s in South Arkansas, but most of northeast Louisiana has stayed in the mid 50s. But now the sun is up at 7:40. These temperatures will continue to rise, and expecting pleasant conditions for this afternoon. Here's a look at Storm Tracker Doppler radar. Nice clean sweep across the entire region. Here's looking live at the Bayou Cabela Tower camera in West Monroe where you can see most of the clouds have already departed the area and temperatures they aren't too bad. It's 55 degrees at Monell Airport. Winds are still blowing about north northwest about seven miles per hour and dew points are in the lower 50s. It's 47 degrees El Dorado, 52 in Camden, but 54 in Ruston, 55 out in Shreveport, and it was 59 down in Alexandria. Dew points are also kind of dropping a little bit. It's only in the lower 40s across the, the Arklatex area as that dry air kind of pushed into place and also just push it out any remainder clouds in the area. Winds have been a little bit breezy, but they're starting to calm down a little bit in South Arkansas, and they will continue to kind of calm down as we get closer towards this afternoon and evening. Right now, we've got the cold front sitting just down to the southeast, which really didn't do a whole lot for us here in the Arkham. It kind of just provided us with some cloud cover, but most of the rainfall stayed well up to the northeast in Tennessee and parts of Mississippi. As the uh, kids are at the bus stop this morning, we'll see temperatures not too bad, but we'll see a few passing clouds this afternoon. We'll see lots of sunshine as you're getting out of school and as you're getting off work, and honestly, just to enjoy the outdoors, not just for today, but really without much of the weekend. For your pollen forecast, trees are currently high right now. Weeds, grass, mud are currently low, and trees will remain our top allergens for today, and also going to be that way for tomorrow as well. And speaking of the weekend, it is going to be gorgeous. Matter of fact, we're going to see continued sunshine with temperatures staying in the lower to mid 70s all the way through Sunday. So get out and enjoy it. Go fishing, go camping, hiking, or just, you know, walking your dog, or just, you know, sitting out on your porch and enjoy the nice weather because our weather pattern, it's it's going to be changing as we get closer towards next week. Matter of fact, temperatures will continue to rise. We won't see any clouds for the weekend as high pressure continues to settle in across the, the uh, Great Plains and across central Texas. But once the high pressure starts to move across Mississippi and Alabama, just off to the east, we're going to start to see a return flow of some warm um, Gulf moisture uh, air back into the area. And that's going to be increasing our temperatures, increasing our dew points, and kind of setting the stage for our next storm maker, which looks to arrive by at least next Wednesday. And with these temperatures, well above average, upper 70s, lower 80s. It kind of comes at no surprise that a good cold front can push through and severe weather looks to be possible. And that is the case. A 50% risk does extend over parts of the Arkland Mist. Of course, this will change daily as we go into the weekend. And also by Monday and Tuesday next week, we'll have better locations on timing and more on the impacts. But right now, all modes do remain possible. So something to keep in mind as we get closer to next Wednesday. We'll see how 70 degrees will this afternoon. Winds will stay a little bit breezy out of the north, but calming down overnight tonight. It's going to be a little bit cooler, but we'll be clear and quiet. Tomorrow going to be a really nice day. Temperatures lower 70s, staying pleasant all the way through Sunday as well. Now, Monday and Tuesday, those uh, winds kind of start wrapping back out of the south. So our dew points and moisture content kind of increases. So we'll see some clouds return going into next week. And notice how we hit the lower 80s for daytime highs on Tuesday. Thunderstorms will arrive on Wednesday and could still linger in the Thursday as we start to cool down to the mid 60s. Stay tuned. We're right back watching Fox 14 Morning News.